I admit, caught with my pants down just a tiny bit. June 6th, 1944 marks the day of the landings in Normandy, the start of the large-scale Allied counteroffensive in Western Europe, and it is what eventually broke the back of Germany in the West. I sent wave after wave of my own men at them until they reached their limit and shut down. And today we're going to revisit that scenario with the mod Hearts of Iron 4 Scenarios Operation Overlord. I'll leave a link to down in the description below, but trust me, this is an excellently made mod. If you like the setting of World War II and the grand nature of the strategies involved, then I believe I have something exciting for you. Introducing Call of War. It's a free online PvP strategy game that will transport you back to one of history's most pivotal moments. Now, you can lead a real country of your choice and step into the shoes of a commander as you face off against up to 100 other players in real-time battles that can last for weeks. It's an opportunity to rewrite history and shape the outcome of World War II. Plan your moves carefully, deploy your tanks, your planes, and even unleash the power of nuclear weapons to build your unstoppable army. Forge alliances with fellow players or declare war on neighboring nations as you navigate the complexities of diplomacy and warfare. The choices you make will determine the fate of nations and the course of history. As a history enthusiast myself, I love the setting. This is the kind of game for me. It captures the grandeur and intensity of World War II and the importance of long-term planning. And best part, Call of War is available on both PC and mobile, allowing you to command your forces wherever you are. But wait, there's more. Now click on the link in the description to claim your exclusive gift. For a limited time, receive 13,000 gold and one month of premium subscription absolutely for free. This offer is available for only 30 days, so seize the opportunity now. I'm back, baby. It has currently three starting dates, but only the first one is completed. These two are coming soon. They're playable, but let me tell you, they're not nearly close enough to being finished. And we will start in March the 1st, 1943, giving us about a year to build up to the grand crescendo, that is the Allied landings. We have two factions to choose from, the Allied Expeditionary Forces and OB West uh, under Gerd von Rundstedt. So basically Germany and the Allied powers. I'm gonna have to ask my editor to do a whole lot of blurn because there's a whole lot of historical German flags in this mod. Please editor, make sure to catch them all. I don't want to get slammed by YouTube. Anyway, I think today we want to change history. We want to play a little what if. Can Germany withstand the might of the Allies? Can we foil the largest and most complex complex naval amphibious landing to ever occur, well, up to this point in 1944, can we stop them? Can we save the Reich? So the map looks freaky. This is pretty much just northern France with the low countries and southern England. And that's it. All of these have been completely reworked. It looks a little weird. Oh, there's a little Switzerland there. It, it looks a little weird, I admit, but let's see. I'll leave Iron Man mode on with historical focuses. And you know what? I'm gonna bump it up to veterans, see what we can do. So first off, events. Great. Allied invasion, not expected in 1943. All right then. Look at the map. So many victory points, so many provinces. This has been completely reworked. It's it's massive. It's a little confusing when you're used to the normal map, but it's glorious. We have our own little focus tree. We can continue the Atlantic Wall, get some bonuses here, some more bonuses here. It's just, just love this. It's not huge, but love this. And this is what immediately drew my eye. Operation Valkyrie. I think I know what I'm going to be doing here. We will not blindly follow the ambitions of our leaders. We will make Germany great again. And the spirit of the Kaiserreich. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do Operation Valkyrie here, boys. We're gonna do Operation Valkyrie. But first, let's see if we can keep this country from being overrun by the hated allies. So I'll need trains, I'll need guns. The usual, really, artillery, support equipment. There's a whole lot of stuff that we need to make here. Fortunately, we have quite a few factories and we can build more. So I'm mostly gonna focus on guns and the basics. I'm also gonna start production of trucks, mechanized equipment, fighters, very important. I don't wanna get everything I own bombed to oblivion. A little bit of cast, maybe? Cast usually 
pretty important bit of Stuka. Leaves me with some factories. I will build tanks. I have a couple of light tanks in some of my divisions, I think, as recon units. So a couple of factories on light tanks and mostly on the medium tanks. I think that is the basics and we'll just increase the numbers here as we go. Let's see, do I have everything? I think we have most of the things we need. Just going to be a matter of tweaking the numbers now. Going to go big on fighters, big on tanks and everything else. Well, we'll build a, a, as much of all of this stuff as we can. See what happens in terms of construction. I'm thinking military factories, a whole lot of military factories. We'll need to focus our construction on like this corner of the map because these are our cores. An Arnsberg, Cologne, Hesse, Rhineland. These are all Germany. Everything else is occupied and not a core. So we don't really get the full benefit here, if you know what I mean. So a bunch of mills. We also have some railways. So maybe, oh boy, this is a very confusing railway network. So I feel, and I have the advantage of knowing what happened in history, but I feel we have naval landings coming towards this area of the map. So I, I think I want to get all these supply hubs like plugged into the network, everything here ready to receive large troop numbers so we can repel the invaders, if you know what I mean. So got to get that ready. And oh yeah, this supply hub's not actually plugged in. So I might want to do that as well. Like hook it up to the actual network. I don't think I want more sieves. We have a hundred sieves and I don't expect this whole thing to last too long. And this is something someone told me, but anti-air is incredibly important. Well, for obvious reasons, the allies do like to bomb you, but it's also incredibly fast to build. So I've been told, and this may seem stupid, but I've been told I can literally fill the entire map with anti-air and it will build in a month. So if the dev for this mod is watching, Love your stuff, but it doesn't feel like the construction things are entirely balanced, if this is true. So let's start by filling this bit up with a bit of anti-air, right? If only because it's funny, if nothing else. It's a whole lot of anti-air. Literally takes a day to build. So not really concerned. Yeah, I think I can have most of the area covered. Research. We are expecting trouble. So guns, more production is going to be good and more dispersed industry. Anything else like air is up to date. We'll, we'll follow up. Artillery is up to date. I don't like rocket artillery anyway. Tanks also up to date. Don't think we'll need modern tank chassis. And maybe we'll pick up some engineering. In terms of focuses, not much we can do. Everything is locked until we've unlocked some stuff. And we need to head towards the director of defenses. No, the inspector of defense. Let's continue the Atlantic Wall. As for the military, the German army in France doesn't start off in a good space. The templates are all allegedly historical and have very neat and historical icons. Very cool. Very nice. And we have 41 Sichungs. Sich Sichungs Bataillon. Yeah, that, that's not a great template, but these will be my Coast Guard. I'll strip them down a little bit, but just use them to sit on my ports. If we can already repel the naval landing, that would be great. These guys just need to guard the coast. Then we have some Panzergrenadiers. These are actually fairly okay. I'm going to shrink them down a little bit to 30 width, but these look very impressive. I like that. I, I will change them a little bit, but not too bad. Then the basic infantry is way too big. I'm going to shrink this down to like a 20 width, maybe 21 with artillery. And then we have the armor, the Panzerabteilung. Love this. I'm going to make these either fully motorized or fully mechanized depending on our industry, but I like what I see. First order of business is, of course, to train more of these security regiments to uh, help guard my ports. Let's see, this guy can cover, give him ambusher, 114 slots. So math difficult, 73 extra divisions. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely do to help guard my ports. And now we have to think strategically. So I'm expecting the allies to hit me near the coastline. Normandy is the obvious choice. So I will put my rapid response units, my, my mechanized in this case near Amiens. That way they can be close by if fighting happens. I'll put infantry, I'll train more infantry armies. I'll put them like in the back line here near where I'm expecting trouble. So they're still supplied, but I can swing them around whenever I need to. And the armor itself, I won't get that many armor divisions. I only have about a year, so I don't think I'll build too many of them, but I want them somewhere close to respond. Somewhere central so they can go south, north, or west, depending on where they need to go. I'll put them on Rouen. That's a good start, good baseline. Once we get some security regiments out, we'll also 
train the rest. I'm not going to be using these Volks Grenadier Regiment. I'm going to switch them out for Grenadier Battalion. Mostly because these are much closer to the size that I want my units to be. Much closer. I don't know if this mod changes the optimal sizes of things. It just feels like it's going to be way better if I just stick to 20 widths. And that's pretty much all we have to go with. We have about a year, so everybody gets to train. We're going to produce as much stuff as we can, and we're going to set up Operation Valkyrie. Oh, uh, one more thing, air. We are being bombed to oblivion, so we want our fighters up with their superiority over Paris. Apparently, they want to bomb Paris and Westphalia. So we need to uh, secure the area, and it does look like our fighters are pretty good. That's nice. And we'll plop some spies in the UK while we're here. Everything does seem to go very fast, so this takes four, four or five days instead of the usual 30, so we can get a lot of stuff done this way. Either we designate strong points, or we fortify the coastline. I mean, I, I know my history books. I know that they will assuming the mod follows history they will try to hit me near normandy so it makes sense to fortify normandy right oh one more thing occupied territories let's set everything to local police force yep and switch over to these ost battalion they look cheap enough with a reasonable amount of suppression look at how fast this aa is being constructed it's it's insane like, we've built AA in pretty much every tile now. Oh, we're gonna shoot down so many enemy bombers. All right, strong points. Brittany, Normandy, Calais, or the Low Countries. Now, this is just because I know my history. So I'm gonna click Normandy. I could be wrong, though, and the mod could throw me a curveball, but I doubt it. Let's strengthen the Panzer Divisions. That's usually a good idea. Let's also spend some political power. What I want, what I definitely absolutely want is army experience. Army experience is going to be important. I'd like the army offense guy, but that means I have to fire Model. Means Model can be a field marshal. Did I hire Model? I don't know how that works. Never mind. Yeah, I'm going to hire this guy mostly because that's a whole lot of army experience and the entrenchment's nice. It get the army XP ticking so I can change my templates a little bit. Let's see here. We got a confused chain of command. That's bad. Auftragstaktik. That's good. Efficient anti-air. That's very nice. I didn't expect that. And Atlantic Val construction. Okay. I don't think I'll be building that many coastal forts though. We already have many and I simply plan to just squeeze out more divisions to guard my coast. I'm also going to remove the military police from these security units because it's just not worth having. So much cheaper. Ah, this is factories that I do like. All right, let's go with that. Oh, one more fun little mechanic. Influence of the um, the Führer. He can mess with us. This is one of those balance of power things that he's tried to implement. Either we suck up to uh, Schmittler and make our influence go up. We'd be a very loyal dog or we make influence go down and we are a disloyal oil dog, which will eventually potentially lead to a civil war. Don't think we want that. But I'm thinking we're going to throw our lot in with the anti-Hitler faction anyway. So I don't plan to pay too much attention to this whole influence level thing, assuming I can avoid being lined up against the wall and shot. It's always a goal. Got a little bit of air experience from all our interception. Let's improve the fighters we have. So engines are great. The uh, design itself is all right, but it places a heavy focus on cannons. I'd rather go with one cannon and then a whole bunch of heavy machine guns. Actually, I think it would be even better to just go purely with heavy machine guns, but it is a whole lot of air attack I'd be giving up. So I'll leave one cannon and then add heavy machine guns. It's a little bit of air attack I'd be giving up in exchange for agility, which is nice. And then we follow up with cell ceiling fuel tanks. And I don't know if this is even remotely optimal. I'm going to slap on a machine gun turret because I can. That's pretty much the only reason. I also hired Messerschmitt here, so hopefully, you know, hopefully that helps. Time to appoint the Inspector of Defenses. This is going to make Erwin Rommel our country leader. Well, I don't think this qualifies as a country, but you know, you know. Erwin Rommel is now in charge. Time to stifle some rumblings and head on down to the spirit of the Kaiserreich and Operation Valkyrie. That can only end well for us, right? I'm also going to change my templates a little, so this is the baseline I'm going to work with. I'm going to remove one unit, so they're 18 width. Might add artillery if I can afford it, and I'm going to change the recon over to engineers. That's one change. I'll, I'll alter this if I can, but they're just my frontline units. My heavy hitters are going to be my panzer grenadiers, who don't need support anti-tank. And I'm going to remove one mechanized. That No, two mechanized, actually. So that brings them to 30 width. I think this is reasonable. I could do with more artillery, but you know what? I'm going to add more artillery 
and remove a couple of this. Well, the widths are odd. There, 30 width, nice heavy hitters. That's gonna be incredibly expensive to produce. And then for the armor itself, we're gonna replace the motorized with mechanized. So these guys should have a nice solid armored core to crush the enemy. All right, I think that's the majority of the changes I wanna make to my divisions. And from now on, it's all about producing enough artillery, support equipment, AA, and everything else really. Just make enough stuff that we can repel the invaders. Fortunately, we do have a lot, and I do mean a lot of military factories in production. These these two provide a flat boost on the line support, which I want to wait with. I'll create a stockpile, obviously. First, I need to hire people to boost mine on the lines. Easiest choice there is going to be either von Stauffenberg or Henning von Trexau. I think Stauffenberg because he's just that cool. And we're going to wait until our non aligned faction has a about 40% support and then we can do those focuses for a flat extra 10 and that brings us straight to Operation Valkyrie. So I need 50% support there. All right, cool. Army Group B. That gives us a nice big army apparently. It, it makes the Army Group B arrive in theater. Damn, that is a pretty big formation. 96 divisions. Ooh, mostly infantry, some Fallschirmjägers, Panzergrenadiers. Okay, I think we can work with this, baby. I think we can work with this. So let's just split them all up and send them on their way. Of course, this man is going to get involved and annoy me. He wants me to take a continuous focus or I lose influence. You know what? I'll keep him deceived for as long as I can. I'll run a continuous focus then. Air production. There. Happy now? Are you happy now, you moron in Berlin? Construct factories. I have five days. What do you want me to build? Oh. Never mind. The idea behind this is cool, but I don't think it really works all that well. All right, Operation Valkyrie, the Wehrmacht will launch a coup. We'll see how this goes. Either we get a crippling, absolutely devastating civil war, or we have a very fun time here. We'll, we'll soon find out which. The Wehrmacht have launched a coup. We've seized critical points in Berlin. Suddenly and without warning, all places of power have been captured overnight. Those still loyal to the old regime have been arrested in prison and in some cases is summarily executed. It looks like everything went off without a hitch. Tom Cruise doesn't have to die in this movie. Excellent. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Schmittler is frustrated with my ignorance. We will fight on indeed. And with the success of Valkyrie, we have acquired a new prisoner. None other than the former Führer himself, the architect of Germany's misery. <laughs> we can either purge him or we can send him to Argentina. We're going to purge this these scum. And we are now the Armee der Valkyrie. We have done it, boys. We're not aligned. The Kaiserreich is Back and Erwin Rommel's in charge, but he's just in charge of northern France. I don't think he's actually the emperor, is he? The true Germany, the glorious Kaiserreich, shall rise again. German intelligence is the finest in the world. A uh, fun fact: literally every German spy in Britain was captured, eliminated, and/or turned into a double agent. So for the entire, almost the entire course of the war. German intelligence was useless. Plus, the chief of German intelligence was also a double agent. Look up William Canaris. Man was playing all sides. Time to organize my armies because I I have the sneaky suspicion that war is de well war is here, but it's getting closer and closer. I need to get my troops ready for it. Looks like we need to reawaken the Luftwaffe as well. It's getting hot. April 44. No Allied landings yet, but any minute now. Oh great. Allied are invading southern France. It looks like a joint French-American force is pushing in the south of France. In 75 days, they will break through into our theater. Oh, well, looks like I'll need to keep my French reserves near Paris, or maybe send them south a little bit towards something major. Yeah, I'm gonna send some of my um, reserves down here to this supply hub, and maybe take half and send them to this supply hub as well, just so we have a little something in the theater that can respond. It's also stop exercising so the units are ready. 3rd of June, they're early. Allied invasion has begun. Kameraden, the French coast, large-scale allied invasion. All right, OKV launched D-Day tooltip. That's it? Really? Well, okay, I guess Schaffenberg, you move to contain that, I guess. Maybe make it, make it a little bit easier. Something like 
that to contain the naval invasion in the south and to the north. Uh, ooh, I forgot to have troops ready to their north. So that is where the fast units come in. Just use the mechanized to throw them back along with all the reserves of Volksgrenadiers here. This is a very unhistorical D-Day, I admit. Caught with my pants down just a tiny bit. Still nothing terrible. We can still do this. It's probably going to be fine. And just respond in time to deal with this. Like this is the only thing that looks fairly dangerous. This doesn't even look like it's much really. Let's see what it is. I don't think anyone's even home here in the north. No, no one was... What? Looks like a potential breakout in the south, actually. Uh, let's just bring up more reserves. Yeah, troops out of Amiens. You can also head there. The allies have landed. That does give me the ability to click something. Now get the 5th Panzer Army. What does that do? I wonder. A large formation, both infantry and mechanized units will be deployed to Paris. Yes, please. Ooh, 40 fresh divisions. All right, so my units are being obliterated. Is it the air? It's probably the air. So I'm retasking all of my air over the landings in Britain. Anthony. Let's wreck him. Why is everyone so slow? Please hurry up. We are being pushed. I don't like being pushed. All right, the armor is getting close. All ready to line them up and maybe start doing a little bit of pushing already. But it does appear that once the armor arrives, I have the upper hand. So let's start swinging some armored units around. Mechanized has also arrived. I think they'll be much more needed in the south here. Oh, God. <laughs> I really expected to just quickly bottle them up here in the app, in, in, like the tip, I, because I had some units nearby. Turns out, not that easy. Look at this massive pain train heading in. <sighs> That's the sixth army group. Yep, as expected. Yep, 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 yep. Deleting all these orders. Fortunately, I did have some troops nearby. Not as many as I would have liked, but some. And they will now have to serve to hopefully bottle up the enemy i did get some free units out of the deal apparently i can only applaud that that is great Brittany bottled up more or less southern france not exactly but I, nothing i can do here until more fresh troops arrive building railways like crazy because i should have done that a year ago <laughs> ah! I'm not doing very well. Oh, and both of my spies are captured. What? I never got a message for that. That's annoying. It does appear my armor is stuck here. I can't really close the uh, breach. But the mechanized has broken through. The mech... Oh. The mechanized is breaking through at an alarming, oh, alarming to the enemy rates. Uh, they're smashing their way in. And uh, hopefully I can follow that up and create an actual encirclement here of this southern group. It would be a great start to this whole thing if we could get that done at least. So, yep, 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 yep. Okay, now I just need to use the full might of my mechanized to clean the pocket up. All right, small pocket once again. It's these little things, the little things in life, you know? You don't appreciate the little things in life. You really deserve the big ones. We're not failing yet. We're not failing yet. This isn't over. This is definitely not over. This is like a massive pocket that the mechanized have created for us. So these, that, oh, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. Yeah, I don't think the armor is going to do much to the north. I'll leave that to the mechanized. I'll bring the armor south because it looks like this is far less heavily defended. I'm gonna bring my army here to try and clean this up because all of these guys have pretty much ground to a halt. All right, counterattack with the mechanized. Again, try and cut off sections of the enemy. Looking good. Looking good. Yep. Ah, they did it again. They did it again. Let's destroy another section of the enemy front. I have a feeling the allies are still pushing me here, but once I free up the mechanized, I can crush them, I think, maybe? I'm gonna try and get a back door in through here. And let's also get the armor rolling. If I can roll the south, I can retask these entire this entire army to help deal with the uh, allied naval invasion here. If this is dead, the game's over, then I technically win. Or I just don't lose. I'll settle for not losing. How's the armor doing? Oh, remarkably well. Shockingly well. Are these guys just out of supply because they forgot to code in supply or something? Yeah, I, I seem to be rolling these guys with ease. I'll settle for that. I'll, I'll definitely definitely take it. Any win I can get at this point. Yeah, if I can get that finished, it'd be great. I am out of fuel, which is going to be a massive issue. I want to speed this up in the south. I think I can. Just an infantry offensive. Ooh, uh, no, no. Far too expensive. Uh, let's just leave the armor to do its business. It's not the world's greatest terrain, but... Oh, uh, something just happened. 
I took the province of Montbéliard, and that just capitulated the 6th army group, which is the guys that spawn in the south. But all the territory they take goes to the Allied Ex... Look... Long story short, there's actually two allied factions. I capitulated one of them that spawns via event, and as a result, the front lines are now incredibly wonky, and this is really my shot to just finish them? I am still shocked at how mixed this mod is. I mean, it's good. It's definitely a good mod. It's fun, it's flavorful, it's, it's taken a lot of work, but some of the stuff in it, like the way it is, territory, just switched hands. Not really that well coded, if I'm honest. No diss if you're watching this. It's just a little weird to see the AI fall like this. Well, then I just need to deal with the allied expeditionary force here. I have some fuel soon, maybe, and then I can start rolling. Yep, and that is the entire allied sixth army defeated. The entirety of my infantry force is being retasked to Brittany. The armor is also rolling in. Now you're in for a world of hurt because I am bringing the pain. Now for the armored counterattack, I'll see what the armor can do. Oh boy, yeah, the armor can definitely do something. Can it push though? Can it push? Can it push? Come on. No, it's all muddy. Ooh. Do I want peace? Peace talks or not? It is highly likely the allies will demand our unconditional surrender. Let's give it a try. Let's see what they say. Maybe, maybe they can be reasonable. It looks like the mechanized have managed to penetrate significantly. Just go a little further. I don't need more. I don't need much more. Just a little bit. Ah, they're not going to give it to me, are they? They're not going to give me the satisfaction of winning, are they? Oh! Okay, breathe. We may just have them now. Focus the entirety of our strength on this to close that. We're doing it. We're doing it. We've got them on the ropes now. We've got them on the ropes now. We can end this. Look at that. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Panzer Grenadiers, you are my saviors. Go, 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 go. What deficients stuck here? All right, I'll let the armor have a little bit of glory now to help the cleanup. All right, now these 31 divisions are gonna get smashed as well. This is just hilarious. This is the last allied units in Western Europe, or at least on the continent. Come on, smash them. And with that, October 1945, we have defeated the allies in Western Europe, except for, of course, for England. And we can declare victory over D-Day. Let's see what that gets us. The ahistorical ending. The defeat of blah, 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 blah. We're able to immediately reassign blah, 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 blah. Well, long story short, we're still gonna get wrecked. But we die gloriously. Anyway, this was a very interesting take on this mod. Again, I want to apologize to the channel members that I haven't used you guys for the division names. It's complicated. It has to do with how the mod is made. That and I forgot to do it manually, but in my defense, there were so many divisions. I hope you appreciate this list I'm putting up here as well. These guys are amazing. They help me do what I do. Love you guys. I also enjoyed this mod. If you want to see me try this as the allies, which seems to be significantly harder because this was ridiculously easy, let me know in the comments and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy the next one too. See ya. And thank you to our sponsor, Call of War. Click on the link in the description to receive 13,000 gold and a one month premium subscription. This offer is available for a limited time only. Click the link in the description, choose your country and fight your way to victory in Call of War. Thank you for your support.